All right. So continuing where we left off on Thursday, we had example four left. And it was 8x to the fourth plus 27x, okay? The first thing that I want you to get used to and very comfortable with doing is if there's a GCF, okay? If there's a GCF, factor out that GCF. So example here, there is a GCF. The GCF equals x. So I'm going to factor out x. When I factor out x, I'm left with 8x cubed plus 27, okay? Now... I'm going to use the perfect cubes because 8x cubed, the cube root of 8x cubed is? Yes. It's 2x, right? The cube root of b is, um, the second term is 3. Okay, remember, this is a formula. So I find the variables, I plug in, and I simplify, right? That's all I have to do with the formulas. Find the variables, plug in, and simplify, Okay. So I'm going to plug into a plus because that's where it's it's a sum. So we have 2x plus 3 times 2x squared minus 2x times 3 plus 3 squared. I literally just plugged in the a and the b. My final answer has to include my GCF. So my GCF. 2x plus 3. What is 2x squared? 4x squared. 2x times 3 is 6x, and 3 squared is 9. So that is the final answer. Again, GCF, greatest common factor, greatest common factor, greatest common factor, okay? Yes. Okay? All right, so... Going back to your do now, your you do that you should do that I will check and make sure you did. Um, I gave you the hint there is a GCF. Once I take out that GCF, all I'm doing is figuring out what is the cube root of the first term, what is the cube root of the second term, and I'm plugging in for A and B, correct? All right, so that's what you're expected to do there. Are there any questions, comments, or concerns about sum or difference of cubes? No? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. 